Hi everyone, today I'm going to be comparing the two mo most recent smaller battle packs, so not including the 2024 battle pack. Uh, there is the 501st battle pack that came out early of last year, and this one came out um, in the middle of last year. Um, this is the 332nd and the 501st. Um, they're both pretty good, but I do have problems and praises for both of them. I think, um, yeah, I think they're both cool, but let's get into it and see which one is truly worth buying. So we're going to start off with the 501st battle pack because it came out before the 332nd, uh, battle pack. And I'm going to start with the build. So we'll just get these guys out of the way. Uh, the build is kind of strange. It's supposed to be a lot built bigger. Wow. Bigger in the Star Wars, you know, I get, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it's supposed to be bigger. Um, it has this, uh, spring-loaded shooter right here. I'll just, yeah, I don't know where that went. Um, it's got some interesting parts and it's just a build so that way they can make it worth buying. It's not very much and I really don't understand why it's so weird. I don't know. I don't like this build. I think they could have done something different. And please don't hate me in the comments. I just don't like this build a lot. I think the other build is a lot better. But I'll tell you one thing that is a lot better on this one that isn't on that one. And that is the minifigures, which we'll look at now. So first up, we've got the 501st Clone Specialist. This one I think is really neat and unique. Because when it has the... It's kind of different from normal clones. It has that little yellow mark with the two little dashes. It also has this visor right here which is the first set they ever put this piece in, and it works really well. There's no, like, black line or, or anywhere on this, um, but I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's fine. I'm not gonna, like, be like, oh, it sucks, oh my god. No, it's fine. Um, you can bring it up like that, bring it down. Uh, it's got the blue arms, it's got normal 501st legs, and here's what the back looks like. The face for all of the clones that we're gonna be looking at uh, are the same, just like that. And yeah, pretty good. It's a perfectly fine minifigure, I like it. This is the 501st Officer. This one I think is probably, yeah, I don't know. I think it's probably my second favorite of the minifigures that we're gonna be looking at today, out of all of them. Um, I just really like the torso. The legs don't bother me. I know there's a printed waist cape, but that doesn't bother me very much. I think I've said that in another video with, like, fives. I don't really care. <laughs> All right? Um, but, yeah, another same exact helmet as this guy. Just, he doesn't have a visor. He has a rangefinder, um, which w looks pretty good. I like how it's in blue. Um, I also like the guns. Uh, the back... Looks pretty good. It's got the blue belt instead of the white one. Um, and I think that looks really nice. It's good contrast, I guess, from a normal clone. So yeah, it's really, really awesome. These are the 501st Heavy Troopers. They have very similar helmet designs to Commander Cody because of that kind of different lining on the top of the helmet. It looks really nice and I, I, I love this guy. He's my favorite of what we're gonna be looking at today. Um, the torso, really nice. I like all the straps and stuff. On the back, again, well, look at, the legs are the same as normal 501st Troopers. The back, there's a backpack, and the back itself, I'll show you. It's basically just a normal bag, just with a strap and stuff. So, looks really good. I really like this guy. So let's get into the 332nd. I think this one has a better build than the 501st Battle Pack does because it has a little bit more art art artillery in it. It has this extra side gun right here. It doesn't really do much, but this, it's just so sleek. This design of the Swamp Speeder, it's so sleek and so just done. It's built so well. It's got these nice shields right here and it, Wow, it's just really nice. It has two extra guns 
on each side and as seats for two and storage for two guns. So let's get into the main figures. I just really love this. I love the build, but sorry for keeping you waiting, but the main figures not as good as the previous ones. So I'm going to start off with the most basic one. This is the normal 332nd Trooper. It has basically no normal torso for 501st, normal legs for 501st. The only thing different about this compared to a normal 501st Trooper is that it has the 332nd helmet. Um, this is Ahsoka's clone army from the final season, final few episodes of the Clone Wars TV show. Uh, great, great show. But this is a good minifigure. This is probably my favorite of the set. I know, surprising. The most basic is also the favorite. I'll get to it. Um, it's just, I, I like it. Um, but it's just kind of basic. I don't really know. Uh, good minifigure. Let's get to the rest of them. So in this set, you get two um, jetpack troopers. They are pretty much the exact same as the normal trooper, except they have, you guessed it, a jetpack. It's nice and all blue, which I think is kind of, it's okay. Um, they're, they're fine. I don't have problems with them. Again, it's just the exact same thing as a normal 332nd trooper, just with a jetpack. Um, I don't know. I don't know why, but I think I like the normal one a little bit more. I guess I don't like the jetpack. <laughs> whoop de doo Vaughn, in my opinion, is the worst minifigure of this set. Um, it's just really weird. It, it has that nice print right there uh, for his rank, and he has the jetpack on the back. Uh, it's, for some reason, it's the normal... It's the normal helmet. I think that's fine. But what really does not sit well with me is the fact that, one, he does not have a differentiating uh, headpiece, which is weird because every other, like, high-ranking uh, clone trooper we've gotten, Fives, Commander Cody, uh, Captain Rex, they all have these nice face prints that are not like the normal ones and it's just not present on this one uh this one does not have a very good visor either um it's not at all accurate i feel like they could have done a lot more and really as it stands right now it looks just like a normal clone trooper with a visor and that's it there's really nothing much to differentiate and say oh i know this character it's it's Vaughn from the tv show no it's you're gonna be like oh it's that's a cooler looking, glorified, like, normal clone trooper. And I don't really think that works. That's what it's supposed to do. Um, honestly, it's not, yeah, it's just not the best. So, many figures, definitely not as good on this set as they were on the 501st set. So let's get to my final thoughts of the two. So overall, I think if you were to go into a store, say you're buying a gift for your friend or yourself even, I think you should pick up the 501st Battle Pack because it's just got the minifigures. Probably that's what you're mainly going for in a Battle Pack. And the minifigures on this set are far better than what's on this set. Although I do like the three thirty second clone trippers. It's not the best to army not well really neither of these are the best to army build with. This one, five three thirty second troopers aren't really very like army builders because there's so few of them. This set, there's like way too much like special features. Uh one thing I forgot to mention is this set is kinda of, sort of based off of the Battlefront video game. Uh, I think that's pretty cool, but yeah, it's just, eh, can't really do much battle army building wise uh, with this one, but I think this one's just going to be the one that you, your friend, kid, yourself is going to be more happy with. Um, so if you're out at the store, you're like, huh, that's interesting. There are two battle packs up. I wonder which one I should get. Uh, you know, this one's, this one's the best one. Uh, so, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I like making these comparison videos. Uh, they're just really nice, really fun to make, and 
I don't know. It's just, it's fun. I like making that Boba Fett one. I like making this one. And I hope I could do that. Maybe not with Star Wars, but with Marvel too. Uh, so yeah, if you want, subscribe. If you want, if you want, like, uh, you know, do all that stuff. I'm not gonna, you know, be like, oh, please do it. You know, do whatever you want. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.